what to expect in 2021 in terms of e-commerce and email marketing. Hi, this is Andrew, the founder of Flowing Email Marketing Agency, as well as this YouTube channel. And today I would like to talk with you about our prediction, what's going to happen in 2021 with email marketing and e-commerce in general. So prediction number one is email marketing will be that. Just kidding. So, I mean, there's like for the past few years, people are like saying like chatbot, Facebook, other thing will kill email. This is not true. Email will exist in 2021 and other years until we use email personally and for business. But the first point and first prediction that some rules, some law in specific states might be and other countries might be more stricter, like GDPR in Europe. Some other countries might use this similar law system as well as some of the states in the United States. So this is our prediction for 2021. Prediction number two, and actually it's already available, but you will see it more and more is uh, interactive emails. So Google released AMP accelerated mobile pages for Gmail. In other words, when you send email, your receivers, your subscribers would be able to interact with your emails. Let's say you sell shorts and you have three colors of the shirts and under the shirt you can put all colors and when they click on that color they will see different kind of color of this shirt in the email they, they don't need to leave the email and go to your website to check information so it's very very user friendly and good experience for your subscribers in 2021 you will see more text-based emails a lot of uh, heavy um, design emails uh, landing in a spam and promotion folder if you use text-based emails there's more chances for you to land in customers inbox and how i personally see what other brands doing for marketing purposes for somebody who did not purchase anything yet they sending them heavy branded emails but when you become their customers they start following up with you with personalized uh, text-based messages dark mode emails so a lot of companies will optimize their emails for dark mode it's a trending now a lot of people have their cell phones in a dark mode and when you send regular emails it will show differently on dark mode versus the regular I believe white mode or whatever they call it either already released the video or planning to release a video in the next few weeks about how to optimize your emails for dark mode we studied dark mode in very great details this year because it's a problem for a lot of brands and we need to fix it for a lot of our customers so they are compliant and that it looks great on either white or black so in 2021 you will see more and more companies uh, trying to optimize creatively so their email looks good on both uh, modes in 2020 facebook and instagram joined their communication platform dms in facebook messenger into one messenger facebook messenger when it happened now there will be a lot of companies putting big accent on Facebook chatbots to help reach out to their customers and recently in podcast episode number 21 we had a guest talking about many chat I highly recommend for you to listen because there's a lot of actionable and good tips how they use it and I love their strategy for chatbots being not creating this as a journey but as a notification platform i love i love that strategy because it's so easy to implement and you can do it right away there's not much effort for you to do but you will see more and more companies implementing chatbots in their marketing strategies and all good direct mail in episode 20 of our podcast we spoke with ignite post where they were talking how to use direct mail to e-commerce advantages and we had direct mail for years maybe hundreds of years but now it's coming back and it's a very very powerful tool which cost a lot of money i personally believe on bigger scale however the return on investment is much higher than any other marketing platforms. There's a lot of brands will be implementing. And by the way, I received myself a lot of uh, direct mail from influencer, from e-commerce stores where I am buying stuff. And 
I did not buy for a certain period of time and this is the way for them to win me back. Also in 2021 you will see more e-commerce stores will create their own app. Why? because now it's less and less friction to create a mobile app for your store. Such company like Tapcart make it frictionless for you if you use Shopify to create mobile app. That mobile app, first of all, you teach your customers instead of going to your website, check that mobile app to buy something from you. And second, it's a dedicated channel for you to communicate with your customers and you do not compete like in the inbox you are competing with other brands but in the phone they do not download hundreds of apps they might subscribe for hundreds of different emails newsletter but they do not subscribe to hundreds of uh, download hundreds of apps and push notification is not very common for other stores so a lot of companies will take advantage of it in 2021 and the last prediction is SMS marketing. So SMS marketing is becoming more trendy and more and more companies will implement it in their uh, marketing strategy. However, very, be very ca careful. You need to be compliant with US law or your local country law uh, to be able to send legally SMS to your customers. So what do you think about those predictions? Do you have any other predictions? Leave your comments below in this video with your predictions or if you want you can criticize my prediction. Maybe I'm 100% wrong. Maybe I'm 100% right. I don't know but Please leave it below and let's continue conversation in the comments below. I, I want to hear, I want to learn from you. I, I want to know what you think. And also, if you are first time on this channel, click subscribe, click the bell and click like button or don't like button if you don't like this video. Thank you. Bye.